Welcome to MediQuaria. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and to share with those that might benefit. Today, let's discuss the lymphatics of the GIT. The lymphatics of the GIT, just like any other, follow the branching of the blood vessels. It is therefore important that you watch my video on the blood vessels of the GIT before you proceed. Please find this linked in the description box of this video below. Now let's talk about the main lymphatic vessels and nodes. Here are the external iliac nodes corresponding to the external iliac artery. The internal iliac nodes correspond to the internal iliac artery. Here are the common iliac nodes. Here is the promontorial node, also known as the medial sacral node, along the median sacral artery. Here are the lateral aortic nodes. Anterior to the vena cava are the pre cava nodes, and posterior to it are the post cava nodes. The inferior mesenteric nodes run along the inferior mesenteric artery. All of these nodes drain into the right lumbar trunk and the left lumbar trunk, both of which drain into the cisterna chili. Here are the superior mesenteric nodes and the celiac nodes, both of which drain into the intestinal lymphatic trunk. The stomach and liver are drained by several groups of nodes. Here are the nodes around the cardia of the stomach. Here are the left gastric nodes, which drain into the celiac nodes. The liver is drained by the hepatic nodes. The gallbladder is drained by the cystic node or the node of calot. Here are the suprapyloric nodes and the infrapyloric nodes. Here is the right gastro or mental, also known as the gastroepiploic nodes. And here is the left gastro or mental or gastroepiploic node. Here are the splenic nodes. All of this drain into the celiac nodes. Now let's remove the stomach from the picture to visualize more nodes beneath it. These are the splenic nodes. Here are the left superior pancreatic nodes and the right superior pancreatic node. The gastro duodenal nodes, the infrapyloric nodes, the retro pyloric nodes lie posterior to the pylorus of the stomach, the suprapyloric nodes. All of this drain into the celiac nodes as shown here. Now let's go on to the superior mesenteric nodes. Along the marginal artery are the paracolic nodes. The epicolic nodes run along the tinea coli. The midocolic nodes follow the midocolic artery. The right colic nodes follow the right colic artery, and the iliocolic nodes follow the iliocolic artery. Here are the appendicular nodes and the presicle nodes. Here is the juxta intestinal group of the superior mesenteric nodes. All of these drain into the central superior group of superior mesenteric nodes as shown here. Now let's conclude with the nodes of the large bowel. Once again, here are the epicolic nodes along the tinea coli and the paracolic nodes along the marginal artery. Here are the left colic nodes along the left colic artery, the sigmoid nodes along the sigmoid arteries and the superior rectal nodes along the superior rectal artery. All of this drain into the inferior mesenteric nodes. The inferior rectal nodes drain into the internal pudendal nodes. Here are the middle rectal nodes. All of this drain into the internal iliac nodes which in turn drain into the common iliac nodes as shown here. Thank you very much for watching. You can contribute positively to this channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Feel free to ask questions and to request for particular videos in the comment box. See you next time.